Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the casino had its own uh, own memories, though. I the 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 Feidelberg mushrooms incident was ho- burned it was in hilarious. my brain forever. I caught a glimpse of him. Uh, and honestly, if you want to trace things back, that's that fucking guy's fault. The guy who wouldn't let you in. Really? Well, because I took the mushrooms downstairs. Because you were like. We were hanging out. I was, I was like, like we're I hanging out as well. Oh uh, yeah, and I took. A, I mean, I took a pinch of mushrooms. I didn't take much, many mushrooms, but yeah, that that got me nauseous. That got me upstairs. You, he called it too. He was like, "Oh, these are not sitting right." <laughs> and and then he also goes, "In fairness, everybody told me have it with a piece of chocolate. Don't eat it on a full stomach. Whatever it was." And he was like, "I did the opposite of all those things." <laughs> <laughs> but I was at the about- bar. I was at the bar, and I watched a dash of red running. Behind an Asian woman, the Asian and then so throwing funny. up through your hand, and I went, "I'm oh, getting kicked out immediately." I saw her. I didn't know what was happening. I saw him going towards the bathroom, and I saw her look over her shoulder, and then keep walking, and then he started to run. And I saw her do one of these, like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, like stepped on a hot coal. Like, it's Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> and thank God there was a little uh, garbage can there, which you like. Oh, nailed. Oh, that like, was if perfect. it wasn't there. You were either going on the floor or it was going to be one of those where you try to keep it in your mouth. And oh, I had a fucking bowl of it right here like this. Like this. Babe, 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 I can't even hear it. <laughs> I literally... Could you imagine if it hit that Asian woman, though? If you throw up on an old Asian woman's back. On Chinese New Year, uh, now lucky on that Chinese is. On Chinese New Year. We would have had to give that woman. It's like, here's $5,000. I'm sorry. God. Like, you know, scarring incident with a giant, a giant man dressed as like a disco porno Popeye. <laughs> and I, would, I would like to say at this moment. The entire group is is pretty like mellow. Mm-hmm. Like we're like kind of just slow rolling our day because it goes from that to that fevered pitch of us in the canal at Red Light District at midnight where everyone's like, we found everything. Yeah. It's almost like a little episode because now's when everyone's eating mushrooms. We had just had pancakes. We go to the casino. Our whole thing is we're gonna we had a full we can you believe we had dinner planned last night? I was about to say it. I didn't want to interrupt you. I've been put, I've been beating this drum for a long time now. Whether it's a bachelor party or a fucking impromptu Amsterdam trip or a guys trip weekend, even just a big night out, the big dinner is the worst idea, the worst. and it should be eradicated yeah. from the whole plan. You know, every every bachelor party has a steakhouse trip for what? We're all gonna eat. It's, it's good. Don't yeah. get me wrong. But then I have a fucking coma and I got to deliver a baby back in the hotel room. <laughs> and and it just it's a tranquilizer dart to the neck. Yeah. And it's always right after a great day of day drinking where you're like, this is great. And then you got to oh, you got to change your pants to get into a nice place. And you sit there, you do home style, or share style. It's the worst. Don't do it. Don't, yeah. Just keep the party rolling. And that's what we did. 